It's November, and trees have lost most of their leaves. Shades of green have been transformed into yellow, red, and brown. These leaves now cover the ground and drift by in streams. Let's take a look at this small stream. The crisp brown plants and sad looking grass seem to suggest that nothing much is going on here. But if we are patient and look more closely, we would realize that there are amphibians nearby. This is the northern leopard frog. What will this frog do when the winter comes? Northern leopard frogs hibernate at the bottom of ponds that do not freeze completely. When spring comes, the female will lay up to 7,000 eggs. Threats to the species include habitat loss, road mortality, and even decreasing aquatic pH levels. Although the northern leopard frog is not globally threatened, some populations in western Canada have declined due in part to habitat fragmentation. Species recovery programs are currently underway. As I stand here on this unusually warm day, I'm wondering if the lack of leaves will make it easier to see birds. This bird is the Bohemian Waxwing. You can tell it's the Bohemian Waxwing by its rufous undertail coverts, which distinguishes it from the Cedar Waxwing. Waxwings form a small family of only three species, the third being the Japanese waxwing. The Japanese waxwing is found mainly in Japan, Korea, China, and Taiwan. Down on the ground, the visible parts of plants are mostly dried husks. This is the time when many plants release their mature seeds. One such group of plants are milkweeds, these are plants favored by monarch butterflies. Their wispy white threads attached to the seeds help the seeds fly away in the wind. I'm not even sure what this plant is because it's so dried up, but it's not useless. It still contains hundreds of seeds and those seeds are about to be eaten by a very special bird. 